Hey what's going on guys, it is Psycho here and today I'm very excited to bring you guys another video where I'm going to be answering one of your guys' questions. This time around you've been asking me about programming languages and I've seen that a lot of people are wondering what kind of programming language do I recommend for them to use when they are starting off with game development and specifically Unity. So before we actually begin with this topic, I just want to clarify that some game engines, I mean like this is going to be obvious to some people, but some game engines are limited to a few programming languages, actually most of them are, but the fact is some of them are actually limited to fewer than the others. So for example, if you look at Unity, you're gonna see that it has C Sharp, JavaScript, and then one language called VooScript, which even I haven't heard of. <laughs> so my point here is the fact that a lot of game engines are limited to different scripting languages, and on the other side of Unity, um, Unreal Engine has C++ and then one another language, I guess. I don't really remember since I haven't really used Unreal Engine in a professional sense yet and I haven't really gotten into it like scripting. And it also has a blueprint system, which Unity also does, but it's a different type of assets, so it's not official, while U Unreal Engine has it officially. Now, in order to select a programming language successfully, um, you have to actually choose a game engine to work with. Either you work with um, Unreal Engine, Unity, CryEngine. I also do have a video where I talk about different game engines, specifically these three. So if you want to check it out, I will link it in the description below. I also have another video where I'm talking about why I actually chose Unity personally. So it doesn't really have to like matter for your opinions, it's just my opinions. But if you want to check them out, um, it's really useful and they are very useful in case you're wondering what kind of game engine you should work with. If you want to check them out, they're going to be linked in the description below. But anyway, back to this topic. So um, after you've chosen what kind of game engine you want to use, you obviously have to check out what kind of programming languages do they support. Do they support Java? Do they support um, JavaScript? Do they support C Sharp, C++, you know, BlueScript or whatever, like Blueprint system? Um, there are many different alternatives too in order to, um, that you can actually use instead of programming, such as Blueprint system for Unreal Engine. Um, you can either choose to use Blueprint or you can, you know, code it in um, C++. And I've seen that Blueprint system is a lot more famous so obviously there are many more assets for the blueprint system and those are some important points that you have to actually check out for because you know obviously if you want to download or purchase some scripts and all that you know from the asset store or marketplace or whatever you're gonna need to see you're, you're obviously going to have to find some assets that are working for your system of preference so if you prefer to use C++ instead of blueprint system you need to make sure that there are actually scripts or else you have to learn them by yourself and this obviously goes for for every single game engine you're going to choose between um, either it's unity or if it's unreal engine or whatever you know there are always going to be some limitations and pros and cons and um, that's why I <laughs> linked, it, linked you to my other video too where I'm talking about these game engines because there are some pros and cons where I'm kind of kind of talking about them it's not very specific but I would suggest you to search on YouTube for different pros and cons of these game engines but if you want to ask me to make a video like pros and cons between these uh, different game engines that you guys are suggesting me to make a video of, I could do that. But if you don't want to, um, you can always search on YouTube, which is obvious. However, I actually want to move on to part two of this video, which is basically what programming language do I recommend you to use if you're going to use Unity. Now, the coding languages that are supported by Unity are C Sharp, JavaScript, and BlueScript, and then there is this shader scripting, which I haven't really used, or actually I have used it, but you know, not in depth. So I never actually gotten into shader scripting in a professional sense, but I actually want to do personally. However, um, I would really suggest you to choose C Sharp because C Sharp is the most supported language on Unity because if you're going to make like an editor extension for Unity, either whether it be your asset that you want to create that you're going to publish to the asset store or you just want to make this simple um, editor script that you you know want to change the UI of so you can always choose that and if you're having like an asset for yourself you just want to kind of create a more simple way of handling the variables rather than using the inspector menu you can always use the editor extension. There are many different pros and cons of using, you know, a specific language. But what I would suggest you to do in, like, just generally, is obviously learn both of the languages, just like I did. 
but the matter the, the difference is that if you're starting off if you're just new to unity i would really suggest you to start off by using c sharp and then move on to javascript whenever you feel ready for it i personally started with javascript and that was because i had used java before so i thought they were kind of you know similar and to be completely honest with you guys i found out that c sharp is actually a lot closer to java than what javascript is which is a little bit ironic but you know javascript is a little bit different and it also matters because you know it like uh, depending on what game engine you're choosing for example if you use unity there are going to be different apis that you're going to have to use such as the rigid body you know these built-in components um the transform you know they are easy to get used to and, and you won't really have a difficult time getting used to them but it's just a matter of time when you do and how quickly you learn and Obviously, you're gonna have to learn how to um, differ them from different programming languages that you're actually using when starting off with Unity. And when you actually start learning both of the languages, or you like start learning C Sharp first, and you know you're kind of translating into JavaScript, there are many different assets for free too that are actually translating the scripting itself for you. So you can always you know check them out and um, see what the difference is. And you know kind of like learn for yourself or you can also check out tutorials on youtube if you want me to make any tutorials let me know and i will make sure to do them um i really love to get suggestions from you guys so i really pay you know attention to them so if you ever want me to make any any type of tutorial i'm going to make them so just let me know and i will make sure to do them but like i was saying there are many different assets there are many different youtube videos there are many written tutorials and you know obviously documentations and there's also this beautiful api scripting page of unity where you can literally check every single component that they have and their apis so in conclusion today, I just want to say that if you're starting off with Unity and you're starting off with programming, I would strongly suggest you to start off with C Sharp because it's a lot easier in terms of how compatible it is. And you know, it's a lot more viable, it's a lot more reliable. And you know, there are just so many more tutorials for C Sharp than what it is for JavaScript because obviously C Sharp is a lot more brief too. And I don't know if you like care about this, but editor extension is possible in C Sharp. So why not start off with C Sharp? Like I just don't find any reason at all why not to start with C Sharp. And I've seen that some people are like, oh my gosh, like C Sharp, isn't it like, you know, headstorm, like you literally destroy your mind. It's not, it's completely honestly not. Um, it's a lot more, I felt like it was easier than JavaScript because it was globally structured a little bit more like Java, um, which is ironic once again because JavaScript, Java, you know, the names are kind of similar and obviously it's by the same developers, but you know, it's a little bit more different when you're coding in JavaScript because there are some different um, variable setting ups and, you know, initialization and all that. So using using C Sharp, I feel like you're going to gain a lot more experience about global structured um, coding language so it's a lot more it's gonna be a lot more easier for you when you move on to such as PHP or you know even Java even JavaScript right you're going to C Sharp is going to help you learn the structure that almost every single coding language has in some sort of way so yeah guys that's um, those are my opinions if you have any different opinions if you have any different opinions why or reasons why you chose JavaScript over C Sharp let me know or if you have chosen C Sharp over JavaScript but for a reason that I haven't talked in this video let me know that as well it's really interesting to read your guys's comments especially when you suggest me something or you know kind of argue with me um, it's a lot it's a lot more fun to be a little bit more interactive with your fans so I really like doing that but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did make sure to hit that like button down below subscribe to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make see you guys love you bye peace peace Yeah, got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Cause my mind's